Hey guys, it's Miss Toxishock, and today I'm going to be doing my 20th Living Metal review on Jingles from Series 18. So, here he is. So, I'm going to start with his mask and trick or treat basket. <laughs> Alright, so, here's his mask really cool it's uh people say it's really really delicate but it's not like really delicate you want to be careful with it though so. um. and when you put it on it actually matches with his eyes pretty well it looks like that and for his trick-or-treat basket for all series um 18 dolls Oh, crap. Anyway, this just broke, but that's okay. Um, they come with a little tri trick or treat basket. Oh, they're squishy. I'm gonna need to super glue that, but. Anyway, it's like this. Just ignore that for right now. So, this is mask. So, here is the actual doll so for his feet. His shoes are the boy shoes. He has black socks. And uh, for his little outfit thingy here, um, there's kind of cuffs sticking up and it's like really soft fabric. It, it looks like felt, but it's not exactly. It's I guess it is felt, but it's like finer felt than usual felt. So um, there you go, it looks like fire. And then he's got this fabric on his like legs and then it actually velcros down the front see on the back there's no way to put it on so it velcros down the front so I guess you'll have to take his collar off and how you do that is there's just a little velcro thing back here and you're just gonna take it off like that and then I guess you could take off his little outfit and for his hands are like his legs except they're folded down and you can hardly see his hands because of the folded down fabric and he has ball joints because he's from series 18 and one hand's curved for the broken jerk tree basket <laughs> and then the other one's normal and his skin is like super super white you can tell it's like offsetting my brightness here so um and this is the same felt that was right here and right here and there's just little bells that are kind of sewed on pretty well but not as well as I think they could have done on it and they're on every single one and so let me take off his hat so that's his face and uh where his hat was I, I, I don't know if all the dolls have that but there's like a little two little rings right there where his hat's supposed to be and his hair is just kind of messy and just kind of looking back Here's his hat. As you can see, it's not half red and half black. It's uh, one third black and two thirds red. And there's little um, bells on the end of all of those. And so it goes this way. But then if you turn it around, there's a little red one in the back. And it's so kind of funny. That might just be mine. But that's what I noticed. So for his face, I love his face so much. Um, he pretty much, his, his eyes are like the normal size of a eyes, but it's got like little, like, cracks coming out of them, I guess you could say. I don't know what else to call them. Maybe little drip, drips or something. I have no idea. And then, in his eye, he's got a black pupil, and then those little spikes sticking out from his pupil are red, like a maroon red. And, uh, then there's gray around that and then black for the rest of his eye and that's the same for both eyes and then his mouth people say that it's stitched but i think it's just because that's the way his face is and that's the way human lips are like if you got ink on them the black would kind of set into the little cracks of your mouth same for right there so that's jingle's face so I'm going to put his hat on really fast again. 
guys can see him. So it looks like this. He's actually really, really cool. Um, and so this is Jingles. And so this is his box. Um, clear coffin lid with silver lettering. This is chipboard. Here's the doll, the pumpkins, the series 18, and then the dead trees, then the moon with the text on it. So, Jingles. A sacrifice on Hallow's Eve, now forever a jester. Jingles likes to cause a, a wound, then watch it pus and fester. So, I don't know if that's supposed to be like hypothetical or if they mean it literally, but, um,. I guess here's just a sacrifice, I suppose. And then this is red orange, and the box is a regular black one, and I'm not gonna show you, because all of us know what that looks like. So, here's his death certificate. I hereby certify that on the 31st day of October, 1971, he's the second living adult in a series to die in Halloween, I think. And then it says, Jingles, has been pronounced legally deceased. A willing sacrifice on Hallow's night on the altar the blade pierced its heart. The next moon he arose and gave quite a fright, an undead servant of the black arts. So I'm Damien Glonick and Ted Long for 1031-1971. And I didn't know they still sacrificed people back then, but I guess they did. So here's his box again. Nothing too special. And so I got him... Uh, I got the whole series 18 on eBay and for $54, if you don't already know that. And so he'd be about 10 of that. And usually, right now, you can buy him on eBay for... Actually, he's kind of rare, so there's not a lot of eBay. There's not a lot on eBay all the time. But I'm guessing you could probably get him for 50 or 60 Because he's actually extremely cool. He's totally worth the money. He's probably my favorite boy doll. Because my only other boy doll is Menard, and he's aight. So, this is Jingles. I strongly suggest to buy him no matter how much he is. I mean, not if, not if he's like $200 or anything. You, you might as well buy Frozen Charlie or something like that. But So, this is going to be my last living dead doll for a while. Sadness. But, I don't know which one to get after that. So, comment which one you think I should get. Um, if you watch all my reviews, you would know which ones I have, so therefore you could tell me which ones to get. So, um, you know, besides the obvious dolls like Maggie and Frozen Charlotte, what other doll should I buy? And what's your favorite doll? So, um, that's my review for now. After this, I will be most likely doing a shot of my display thingamajig because one of you requested that I do that, so I'll probably do that in about 20 seconds. So, um, bye guys, and stay tuned.